How's it going guys? Happy October 5th and welcome to my 31 days of Halloween marathon. Today I will be reviewing a movie for you that um somewhat has to do with Halloween. Um, I don't know, whenever I see this movie it just really reminds me of Halloween for some reason. Like it just shouts it out Halloween like whenever I watch this movie. I, get, I think it's just like the atmosphere and the music of this that just really remind me of the season which I really really love about it. This movie, you've probably seen it before, hopefully. It's called Sleepy Hollow, and it is directed by Tim Burton. It's a Tim Burton film, and personally, one of my favorite Tim Burton films. I think this movie is honestly his most underrated movie yet. A very, very underrated film. I don't know why people are not talking about this movie now, but I'm sure they talked about it a lot back then. But I'm sure all of you have heard of the story of Sleepy Hollow by now. Um, Sleepy Hollow is a small town that is haunted by the Headless Horseman, who cuts off people's heads and stuff, and it's awesome. Now, a man whose name I cannot pronounce is sent to Sleepy Hollow to investigate these murders of this headless man on a horse who is chopping off people's heads. And, um, that's basically what it's about, and then, you know, there's like a sort of love story kind of thing in it, too. But that stuff's not important. I want to see the, some more headless horsemen, like, chopping off people's heads and a bunch of blood and mayhem and, you know, that good stuff. Johnny Depp plays the main character. I think he did a great performance in this one. Johnny Depp's in pretty much almost every Tim Burton movie, like, ever. But, uh, yeah, so, um, Johnny Depp, again, he does a great performance. There's also s some very creepy stuff in here. Not only do you have the headless horsemen, but you have, like, these, like, these creepy witches, and then there's like ghosts and stuff, and you know, it's not just a headless horseman, it's like a bunch of other creepy stuff, and the movie has like its own certain like atmosphere to it, and it's just, it's very good, very creepy. This movie used to scare me when I was younger, and I just, I remember being like terrified by it, and like, especially like the part with like the creepy old witches or whatever, like, just everything about it's so creepy. The movie is surprisingly very bloody, like, it's very bloody, um... Yeah, a lot of violence in here, a, li a little bit of slow parts here and there, but I mean, I, I guess the movie has to have its moments. Everything about this movie, I guess I could say, is pretty great. I mean, the acting's phenomenal, the blood and gore is just awesome, the story's awesome, everything about it is great. It's a great film about the Sleepy Hollow legend. Again, one of my favorite Tim Burton films, and a movie I think all of you should check out if you have not seen it yet. And, um, this rating may be a little bit too high for you guys, but for me, it's just right. But I'm going to give this film four and a half pumpkins out of five. I really, really did like this movie a lot more than you guys think. Um, I don't know. It's just something about this movie that I really love. I just, again, there's something, it just has something that not a lot of other movies have that just makes it feel like a Halloween movie. Just makes it feel very creepy, uh, very Tim Burton-ish. But that's why I like it. I do highly suggest you guys to check this movie out as well. And um, that's about it. Alright guys, thank you for watching this review. Um, I'm Jacob Palacio. Do not forget to check out my other reviews. And I will see you guys tomorrow.